to show you how you guys can make your very own pound cake. Um, today uh, we are going to take some ingredients. So it looks like a lot of ingredients, but I will go slowly. And then there is a description below the box where you can see the ingredients if you get messed up. So um, this is brown rice flour, one cup of brown rice flour. And we have two eggs, half a teaspoon of xanthan gum, half teaspoon of Celtic salt, half teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, half cup of applesauce, unsweetened, one third cup of olive oil, half a cup of honey, and I'm gonna use one teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla. So we are going to keep the wet ingredients separate and the dry ingredients separate. So that way we can mix it in. So first thing first, we're gonna uh, beat the egg. And I'm going to pour it in my blender and I'm going to blend it really quick. So your egg has to be bubbly like this. So that way it is like a foggy kind of a consistency though so that way it is easier to make I'm going to turn this around and then I'm going to add all our wet ingredients now we are going to add the applesauce and then I'm going to run one more time in my blender. Okay, now we are ready to add our ingredients, the dry ingredients. Always add the wet ones first and then go with the dry ingredients so that way it blends really well. Some people use citric acid and guar gum. Uh, I really don't um, like yeast or acid in my bread or cake. So now that we have added everything, I'm just going to make sure the honey blends in also. And once that is done guys, we're just going to blend it really nice. I have taken out the blender you can even use a hand blender it's even easier so I can evenly spread it out like that. yeah it's well mixed you have to make sure you do some anti-clockwise and you do some clockwise so that way Heated now, it's on bake and it's on 400 degrees and I'm going to go ahead and put it in for 30 minutes and we'll see you back in a bit. Alright guys, our pound cake is ready and uh, it's been 20 minutes. Uh, it depends on your oven, some might take a little longer but it has to be like a light brown and uh, when you do the stick, you can use a toothpick or I'm using this, it has to come out clean. So now we're going to transfer that into into a wooden uh, wooden board okay the goal is to go like that and put it in and your cake is ready you can always switch it back here and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it slowly The best thing is to let it cool for half an hour and then you can cut it. I'm just doing it when it is still hot. You can cut small pieces, you can cut big ones, it's up to you guys. So this is how it's gonna look and 
I am just going to show you guys the uh, coconut frosting that we made. It has been in the fridge for uh, one hour now. Look at how creamy it has become and a little um, thick also. So we're just going to take this and um, I'm just going to spread it in like a frosting. And then you can eat it up like that. Thank you. Here we go. This is your very own gluten-free, vegan, soy-free, casein-free, nut-free pound cake. And it looks delicious. And boy, does it smell delicious. And it tastes delicious too.